Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the newest Mario Party playthrough and the first new playthrough of 2019. We're going to be playing some Mario Party Star Rush. Uh, this game came out in 2016, following up uh, from Island Tour. And when I first started seeing Star Rush, uh, I believe it was the E3 before it came out, uh, the Treehouse Live event um, at E3. I want to say it was 2015, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, it came out, and I was really interested in what the game was going to bring to us, because it seemed like they were going to be trying a whole bunch of new things. Uh, they were ditching the car mechanic that had been plaguing the series for the last three installments. And it just looked very, very intriguing. And when I got the game, I was pleasantly surprised with, you know, how good it felt. I, I still felt like it had some issues that uh, we'll be definitely going over as we play through this. But, uh, you know, this is when I really feel like Mario Party started kind of getting on the right track again. And because of that, whenever they announce something new Mario Party related, I'm really interested in seeing what they're going to do with it because... You know, they just keep making one positive step forward each time they make a new game. And, you know, Super Mario Party, which I stand by as the best Mario Party game they've made in many years, um, really just want to see how that trend continues. But we're going to be focusing on Star Rush this year. Uh, Star Rush, as I said, 2016. Fairly recent game. Came out in the last few years, so let's see what we got. So, as you can see, there are a number of different options here, and uh, a lot of different game modes as well. Here's where you return to the title screen. Uh, we'll be spending most of our time here in Toad Scramble. This is kind of the, uh, I, I guess, the main mode, the main single-player mode, I guess you could say. But you can also play it with other people, too, so that makes it kind of interesting. Uh, but we're going to be spending some time here. There's also Coinathlon... Balloon Bash, Rhythm Recital, Mario Shuffle, Boo's Block Party, Challenge Tower, the Character Museum, which I believe is just like, you know, showcasing stuff, and obviously you have your mini game mode where you can play mini games, and yeah, that's basically it. So we're going to be going through all these different options. Uh, first of all, we're going to be starting with Toad Scramble, and, uh, you know, it make, makes sense that we would. As I said, it's the. Uh, main option here. Uh, you can also use Amiibo too. I um, might try to experiment with that at some point, but I'm just going to be playing uh, normally for these uh, first couple of videos. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, at this point this is probably where you would connect to other systems or something. I imagine, because yeah, there's, we don't exactly have any other options right here, so yeah, we'll go ahead and select this. And then here you have uh, the computer players. They'll be playing alongside you. Um, you can put them at different difficulties. Um, I'm going to start off by putting them on hard mode. Just to, you know, make them somewhat challenging, but just not their basic, easy level of difficulty. I could potentially increase them to very hard as we go throughout the project, but this is kind of a nice starting point. We'll stick with just normal hard mode. So yeah, we're going to go with that. And here we have, I guess you could call these the boards. Uh, they're not really boards, they're mainly just kind of like laid out into different worlds where each world has uh, three boards that you have to basically play through. Uh, we're going to be starting with World Zero. Uh, world Zero, I guess, is kind of like the tutorial world, just kind of getting you used to mechanics of this game. Uh, so because this is kind of a tutorial world, I'll probably just spend the first weekend doing these, so there might be one day that has more than one video. Um, but yeah, I'll basically uh, cover all three of these boards this weekend, kind of make this the introductory weekend, and then next week uh, we'll actually get started with World 1 and then kind of progress uh, one board per day, essentially. Um, and of course, this will just be a weekend project, so videos will only be during the weekends. Could speed it up somewhere down the line, but I don't really know for sure just yet. Uh, I'm going to just play it by ear, see what happens, and just pretty much just go from there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start with World Zero One, a simple plane that's perfect for practice. Boss battles, so there are going to be two boss battles here. And I believe for each additional level you get one extra boss battle, and yeah, pretty much uh, that's the way it is for all the other levels. Is World Zero, you only have a max of four, 
but for Worlds 1 through 4, you have uh, five potential boss battles uh, during the board. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. World 01. I don't know why, as basic as it is, I really like the loading screen here, with just the stars raining down. I'm not going to skip anything, because there could be some important information here that we may want to uh, take a look at. Hey, a star! <laughs> I bet people love seeing those in a Mario Party game. <laughs> Welcome to Toad Scramble. In this mode, you compete with other players to collect coins and stars. Yes! <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I want to hear. Uh, collect coins around the map from minigames and win stars from bosses. When a game ends, you'll get one star for every ten coins you have. Got it? Good. Now then, let's start playing. Uh, so yeah, uh, basically the, game this, uh, the way this game works is you start off all rolling your dice blocks at the same time. And you guys, pretty much everyone moves at the same time, but you have control over your own movement and whatnot. Uh, so we got a three. Our ultimate goal is we want to get to where the boss is so we can get to some stars. Uh, but along the way, you probably want to collect some coins too. So let's uh, just go ahead and move here so we can get some coins. Looks like Green Toad also got a coin. Uh, can I see the map at all? Yeah, I can. I can do this. Okay, so this is where everyone is. It's pretty obvious they're going to be more than likely moving straight for the boss here. There doesn't seem to be a lot of extras in this board. This seems like a very bare-bones beginner board, which is understandable. You kind of want to get a feel for how the game works and whatnot. And I think that is perfectly okay. Only get a 1. That's kind of lame. So we'll just go ahead and move right here then. And of course, someone already made it to the boss. Uh, so when you make it to the boss square, there's basically going to be a boss minigame that's going to be played. Uh, you get a coin bonus for being the first one there. And the player will actually get a head start on the boss minigame. The boss minigames work pretty similarly to how they do in other Mario Party games, where you essentially just have to, uh, you know, beat the boss. You get points for each uh, strike you make on the boss. And whoever gets the most points by the end of it will be the ultimate winner of that encounter and uh yeah i don't think i need to practice here i'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and get started here now if you didn't make it on the boss square you actually have to mash the a button on the bottom screen to actually get to the boss square so you can actually get started yourself so for this mini game we're not exactly making hits on goomba what we're doing is we're collecting apples apples will be our points here i guess you could say um, if you carry only one apple, you'll move at normal speed, but you can collect up to three apples, and, you know, you kind of go slower with each additional apple that you have, so you have to keep that in mind. But, you know, you also get more bang for your buck if you do make it back with three apples, so you also want to consider that, too. Wait, did I only have two? No. And you, you also lose an apple whenever you touch a Goomba, so keep that in mind. Do, do, do. I think we're doing pretty good right now. Okay, so we reached the halfway point, so Goomba's obviously going to be angry, and now he's going to be essentially, yeah, trying to do damage to us as well. Leave me alone. Oh, oh damn it. Ah. And again, if you get the last strike on the minigame, or I don't want to say last strike on Goomba because we're not exactly fighting them here, but uh, if we get the last point, we'll get a bonus, and that's generally something to try to aim for, too, because the bonus is generally pretty generous. My god, I don't normally have this many issues with the Goombas. <laughs> oh, okay, looks like... Oh, Green Toad actually sniped that from me. Yeah, it was all those uh, extra hits I took from the enemies, so... Because of that, Green Toad's actually going to get the first star, and he's going to have a pretty big lead on me uh, in the, the first part of this minigame. So that's a little unfortunate. I am going to get five coins, though, so that'll allow me to, you know, at least save up for ten coins so I can get an additional star later on. 
But um, the main thing is definitely going to come when we get to the uh, second boss fight. We're going to need to really kind of basically improve our game for that one. So our second boss fight is going to be against King bob -omb. If this was uh, Mario Party 9, I would not be that happy because I hate the King bob -omb fight in that game. I think it's a little better in this one, but uh, still could be bad. And as you can see, we also have some Mario helpers coming here. Daisy wants to party. Pass through ally spaces to recruit them. Allies add their dice block rolls to yours and will help you in boss battles. So yeah, here we have the allies system. Where basically, you can collect allies, assuming you can actually get to them. Allies can be a helpful in numerous ways, as we'll uh, probably see as we uh, recruit one of them, assuming we can. Thankfully that'll be just enough to get Daisy. Okay, good. <laughs> I did not want a Yellow Toad to snipe that for me. An ally character has joined your cause. Press Y to select your main character before rolling your dice block. So, I got an ally. It looks like Green Toad got an ally, too. Uh, but anyway, um, you can take a look at your ally. You can put her in front and have her do all the moving around. And as you can see, um, you actually get uh, different types of dice blocks depending on which ally you have. Uh, so here we have Daisy. Uh, she has a friendly dice block which means you have movements of three, four, five, and then three question marks where the question marks are how many characters are in your party. So I believe that's uh, we'll have basically a three, four, five, two, two, two dice block. So no matter what we'll at least be moving two spaces but we'll also not be rolling six spaces. So that's something you got to consider, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and use her anyway because in addition uh, to that dice block, uh, Toad will also roll his own dice block as well. It won't be a big one, I think it's only like a number like 1 through 2 or something, but um, Toad will still roll as well, so we still have... It'll be more than what the dice block will show us, but uh, the special dice block will give us you know, some advantages. So there we can actually move six, which is nice. We can get Toadettes, and I guess we'll start working towards over here. I feel like Yellow Toad's going to try to grab Toadette, though. That's the only thing. So we may want to get a head start on getting to King bob -omb, actually, since Toadette might be a lost cause. What sucks is uh, Green Toad's going to get a second ally, which is not great, but... Yeah, see, no matter what, Yellow Toad would have made it to Daisy, so... Um, he would have gotten Daisy no matter what. Or not Daisy, Toadette, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, though. We, ha we have Daisy, so I think we're going to have a good partner regardless. Um... So what I want to do right here is I want to see if I can maybe land on the boss square. I can't quite land on it, but... At least I can grab these coins and... At least make a push for the boss square anyway. Ah, it looks like Blue Toad made it regardless. But see, it's okay, because if you look at my coin total, I'm up to 10 coins. Which means no matter what, I am going to get a star at the very end of the game. But if I want to win, I probably should win this boss fight just to assure that I have a possibility to win the game. Because it'd be pretty difficult if I didn't. Okay, so now we're going to be uh, beating King bob -omb. Don't have to move very far here, so I should be getting here no matter what. Uh, so yeah, we basically need to uh, load... If I press the right freaking buttons... Why the hell did you do that? So that just like walked into me so I'd explode, which is really mean. Uh, she's doing that on purpose! She's like following me just to screw me over, that's rude. Okay, well, whatever. I'll lose some points for that. Okay. 
And I believe at the halfway point. At the halfway point, you get a big bomb, which you can use to get a whole bunch of points. Okay, cool. The Red Toad actually got the uh, final attack in. So we actually get two stars for that, in addition to the one star we'll get from the uh, ten coins that we collected. So now we're going to go to, I guess, the results screen, since that's both bosses defeated. Great job, everyone. Now it's time to convert everyone's coins to stars. Ten coins turns one star. Uh, looks like, uh, ooh, Blue Toad almost got two stars at the very end there. But uh, I'll get my third star. It looks like Gre uh, Green Toad will also get a star, so that'll be uh, two stars for him and just one star for Blue Toad. So... I was able to win this, but it was a pretty close game, not gonna lie. That I'm actually really surprised I screwed up the Goomba one the way I did, because normally I'm pretty good at that one. But it is what it is. Can't really complain too much. We still got a win out of it. Hooray, congratulations. Good job, Red Toad. And yeah, that's gonna do it for the first uh, board, I guess, of... Uh, Mario Party Star Rush, but as I said, uh, there will be a second video, probably today, uh, which will uh, basically show another board, just to kind of give you continued uh, exposure to what this game has to offer. But yeah, there we go, we won. Wasn't a perfect score, but hey, it was something. Also, at the end of every game, you'll get uh, basically some points, and you'll be filling up a meter. That's basically how you unlock stuff in this game. Uh, you can unlock a whole bunch of different things, uh, mostly game modes, but there are some hidden characters you can unlock as well. Uh, I pretty much have everything at this point except the credits, which I believe is the last unlockable, so uh, we'll definitely get that um, probably throughout the course of this playthrough, honestly, so I'll be able to show that at the very end. And if there is anything else, I'll probably just grind for it off camera to see if I can get it so I can showcase it to you guys. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys when we take on World Zero Two. See you guys then.